Hey guys, Rick Stone here from Stony Acres Gardening. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be talking about what you can be planting during the month of July. And I love this video because it gives a lot of people hope. Um, there's actually quite a bit that you can still be planting, some warm season crops, and then we're actually gonna be starting to look forward to fall by planting some cool season crops. I've got a pretty good list for you today that we're gonna go through and talk about. Now, this video is designed for those of you that live in gardening zones five through seven, and maybe even a little bit in zone four. But more important than your garden zone is your first fall frost date. So the stuff that I'm gonna be talking about today will be very applicable to you if you live in an area where your first fall frost lands sometime during the month of October or even into early November, okay? So plenty of stuff that you can still be doing in your garden to fill in holes if you've got holes in your garden or if you haven't even planted a garden yet, Never fear, there's still some stuff that you can actually be growing. So let's get talking about that. But before we start, please make sure that you get subscribed to my channel. Go follow us over on Instagram. We'd love to have you join us there. And then please make sure that you get signed up for my free year-round gardening mini course. There's a link in the description of this video for it. It's about 45 minutes long and it's gonna help you out a lot with your fall and winter gardening. So make sure you get signed up for that. And I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. So as what I've done is I've broken this down into some warm season crops that you can still be planting. That list is getting pretty small for those of us in zones five through seven, okay? But there are also some cool season crops that are fairly tolerant to the heat. And so we can plant those crops now and they're actually going to be okay during the summer and they're gonna start maturing as the weather cools off in the fall. So we've got a pretty good list of things that you can still be planting in July. It's definitely not too late. So let's start off with the warm season crops. So first on our list is zucchini, okay? So if you like zucchini, it's still pretty good time for planting it. Zucchini usually starts maturing about 65 to 70 days after you've planted directly from seed. So we're talking here about seeding directly out in the garden. And um, so you've got plenty of time. The nice thing about planting this late in the year is, is you will never feel completely overwhelmed by your, your zucchini plants because they're, they're about the time that they hit that super big production stage, we're gonna have frost, okay? But you will get a pretty good harvest still planting this late of zucchini. And then related to that is crookneck squash and also patapan squashes. All of the summer squashes mature, start maturing at about 65 to 70 days. And so you can be planting all of those crops still in July. The earlier the better, but you still can be planting them in July. Next would be cucumbers. And cucumbers are beautiful because they, they mature so quickly. 60, 70 days and you're starting to get fruit. And so you can still plant, especially early in July. You can direct seed out in the garden, take care of them a little bit, baby them along until they get going, and you can still really do well filling in spots on trellises and, and in containers. Uh, cucumbers are gonna do great planted in July. So you should still be able to do really, really well with your cucumbers. And then last on the list is green beans. So green beans at this stage of the game I would probably switch to bush beans. So pole beans usually take 75 to 90 days to mature before you start really seeing the first fruit. That's getting a little bit too late in the year. But bush beans are starting to get the first fruit in about 60 days. And so if you plant bush beans now, there should be plenty of time for a really good harvest of bush beans. And they're easy to kind of just plug in all around your garden, um, great spot you know, to, to just fill in and, and do really well. So get some bush beans planted right away and you should still do well. And you could even go to like the middle of July and still be able to harvest well with the bush beans. Now let's take a look at our cool season crops that are more heat tolerant. So the idea here is, is that we wanna direct seed these in the garden. They're gonna mature in July and August. And as the weather starts to cool off in September, that's when we're gonna start harvesting them. And then they will be in the cool time of the year, which is what they actually prefer. When they're maturing at that stage, they're gonna do pretty good. Now, of course, most of these crops, you should be able to kind of succession plant throughout the summer so that you have 
different stages as the fall approaches, but these are all really good crops to get going now. They're going to be tolerant of the heat and they'll mature as the weather starts to cool. So first on the list are leafy greens. So we've got kale, collards, and Swiss chard, okay? All of those are gonna do great. They'll mature just about the time your first frost arrives, and so that's gonna sweeten them up, help them to taste better, so now is a perfect time to get those planted. Next thing I wanna talk about is summer crisp lettuces, and I know this year I've really hit hard on the summer crisp lettuces. Summer crisp lettuces are lettuces that actually stand up really well to the heat. They resist tip burn, they don't bolt, and they don't get bitter in the heat. And so now is a great time to be planting those. You can direct seed them in the garden if you want. If you don't have space for them in the garden right now, you could start them indoors under some lights. Either way, these are a perfect crop to be planting this time of the year. Varieties that we are looking for with the summer crisp lettuces are Nevada, Magenta, Muir, Cherokee, and Fusion, okay? The last four are actually a little bit tough to find. Johnny Seed sells them, um, but Nevada is probably our favorite summer crisp lettuce and it is readily available. In fact, True Leaf Market sells them and I've included a link to the Nevada seeds in the description of this video so that you can just go grab those on True Leaf Market, okay? So summer crisp lettuces, perfect time to be planting those. Next on our list is onions. Now, we're talking here a very specific onion. So if you happen to still have some onion sets lying around that you didn't use, or maybe you noticed at the local nursery that they've got some onion sets that haven't been sold yet, you can buy those and you can plant them in July. But you are not going to get bulbing onions from those. We're too late in the year to get bulbing onions. Instead, you're gonna just plant those nice and close together, plant them a little bit deeper, and we're gonna use those as green onions, okay? So great time for that. They're gonna mature in the fall, but you wanna do that from sets. Okay, so if you can find some sets and get those planted, then now is a good time for that. Also kind of related to that is leeks, but we have a totally different scenario with leeks. Leeks actually are going to grow well during the heat and mature in the fall. And so you could actually plant leeks by seed in your garden right now. They're gonna grow up and do well and mature probably October, November timeframe and, and do really well. So you can get leeks planted right now. Another one that I really like to plant this time of year is beets. Beets are a cool season crop, but they actually stand up really well to the heat and, and do great. And so you can plant beets now, you can harvest the tops if you want, or you can wait and let them mature into the full grown roots. Um, but now is a good time for those because they do well in the heat and they're gonna mature again in 60 to 70 days. And so it's a good filling crop for empty spaces in your garden. And then last on the list is our peas. Okay, so if you would like to try a fall crop of peas, it's actually almost time for you to get those started. So sometime in July is probably when you want to get those started. We wanna target about 10 to 12 weeks before your first fall frost for planting that fall crop of peas. Now there's a few things that we need to understand here. Number one, you should skip the shelling peas. Okay, shelling peas don't do well in the summer heat and the, the fall harvest, they just don't do very well. So instead choose sugar snap peas or snow peas for what you're going to plant in July, okay? The next thing that you need to understand is this crop of peas is not gonna do anywhere near as well as your spring did, okay? Because spring peas are growing up in the cool weather, fall peas are growing up in the hot weather, and they don't like hot weather. So you're gonna have much smaller production. So just keep your expectations in check because fall peas for most people that live kind of in you know areas that have hot summers and then cold winters, um, fall peas do okay, but not amazing. So please make sure that you, you don't overthink it there and, and recognize that you know you, they will struggle, but you can plant peas in the fall. Again, 10 to 12 weeks before your first frost, which for a lot of us is gonna land during the month of July. One last thing that I did wanna make sure that you guys were aware of is it is time to start your fall brassica crops indoors, okay? And I just did a video about what you should be planting and kind of the timing on that this week. And so there's a link to that video right up here. You can go check that out, but there is some indoor seed starting that you need to be doing during the month of July as well. And the link again is right up there for that. 
All right, so again, the idea here with planting in July is filling in holes, maybe prepping a little bit for our fall garden. We'll be doing a lot more fall planting in August, but you can kind of be getting a head start on that fall garden if you've got empty spots. Um, but there is, you know, there's hope. It's not too late. There are still things that you can and should be planting if you've got the space out in your garden during the month of July. Make sure that you get subscribed to my channel and go follow us over on Instagram. And then before you go, I just wanted to give you one last reminder on our year-round gardening mini course. This is a free course. It's about 45 minutes long. Fun little course about fall gardening. I cover some of the base crops that you should be planting for your fall garden. I cover when you should be planting those. And then I talk about how you're gonna protect them from the fall and winter conditions using cold frames and hoop houses. So it's a, a fun little mini course, 45 minutes long, a great introduction to fall gardening and, and it's free. So you can click on the link of the down in the description of this video and uh, go check that out. So please do. All right, that's all I have for you for this week. Everybody have a fantastic week. Happy gardening.